I've seen people speed and shrink and fly. We watched a friend of ours come back from the dead. That's the world we live in now, and I'll not stop searching for it. Yeah, exactly. Nothing is over in this world. Welcome back, people. Do you need another dose of Oliver Queen? Then stay with me until the end, as I have some really interesting news to share with you. Now, let's jump in with a short recap. Oliver Queen. Man who channels Without a doubt, Arrow is one of the most popular American superhero television series that ever aired on TV. There have been a total of eight very successful seasons up to this point, and I know you're all interested in finding out more about the ninth season. Starting in 2012, this series has captivated millions of viewers around the world. Both the crew and cast of the series, or in other words, the off-screen and on-screen heroes, were truly incredible. Anyway, let's remind you of the last events. After Season 8, many people said that Oliver Queen has been put to rest, and with that legacy behind him, it was totally fine. Anyway, not sooner after that, the rumors about another season started getting louder and louder. As for Season 8, I can easily say that it wasn't perfect. I would say that with the quality it's near to Season 5, but there are a few things that hold it back. One of them is the story dynamic. Season 8 stayed true to what the show was at heart, as far as today's CW standards go. Oliver's legacy, his heartbreaking story on the dark past, and setting up his grand send-off in crisis. And it won't be fair if I say this wasn't good. Season 8 didn't even once make the same mistakes as the previous seasons. The lack of drama this time was a huge improvement. We all remember that the season was slashed to less than half the normal amount of episodes, and that didn't leave a free space for drama at all. Ain't nobody complaining about that. Most of the drama this season came from Oliver's legacy and how it's going to live on, and our hero accepting his own death in crisis, which I would say it's kind of a good ending. But why would there ever be an ending? When we're talking about the lack of drama, we can mention that Felicity wasn't in most of the season, so that might be the main reason. One thing that was a bit frustrating and related to the show in the past coming from the season 7 flash forwards with Connor, William, and Mia in 2040. As the critics would like to say, they're a part of the show just to fill the gaps, but this season had a few flash forwards, and with some of the future characters being brought to the present, the show became much, much better. The most interesting and intriguing is still Oliver hitting that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really, his relationship with Mia, but in the present day. It's kind of reminding me of what Barry had with Nora in The Flash Season 5. He passed his mantle to his daughter and took the role of mentor. But he wasn't just a regular teacher. He taught her not to repeat his mistakes and not just the skills she'll need to be a hero. In your future, Oliver. Inexorable and unavoidable. With The Undertaking on Earth 2 in the premiere, the last season did a pretty decent job of paying homage to Arrow history. This was one of the fans' favorite moments, and why? Well, because this was something longtime fans were familiar with, but changed it up to make it fresh. Fires returning as a ghost of sorts on Lian Yu, the Hong Kong episode with China White, and Oliver returning to Russia were all throwbacks to the past, with just enough changes to seem different. Many of us probably wondered how Arrow would handle its season finale, given that its leading man didn't have the best of luck in the recent Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. We were hoping that Oliver would be saved and left to exist as the DC TV Universe's figurehead, but that's not what happens at all. For fans, the very last scene was the most important and it appears to have been everything they could have hoped for. The much-loved romance between Oliver and Felicity was left on an unexpected happy note after they're reunited forever in the afterlife. Okay, now let's talk about the potential release date. Anyway, I'd like to stop here and give you a chance to maybe rewatch the last season and remind you of what happened. Now let's talk about the possible release date of season 9 and the possible cast list. Make it better. Everything about you just became so unbelievably clear. You need the question here is, will Arrow's story continue with season 9, especially after the last events in season 8? At the end of Arrow season 7, it was confirmed that in the Crisis on Infinite Earths, or the 2019-2020 Arrowverse crossover, if you wish, Stephen Amell's Green Arrow would die, and that this would be the conclusion of his story in the Arrowverse. We all thought this is the end, right? But as I said before, never say never, because in this world, nothing is completely over. Even Stephen Amell himself, in his last interview with Den of Geek, said, Listen, I'm the namesake. 
So if I can ever be of any help, if I can be of service to the Arrowverse in any way, shape or form, or better still take it to a new place, which I think would be the more interesting route to go, be that in limited capacity or on a different platform, maybe one where we could show blood, that'd be really cool. Stephen Amell was under contract for seven seasons, but yet we saw another one. So now we're asking, why should we say goodbye here? Since there are no official statements about the potential release date or cast, the only thing we can talk about right now is the plot theories, some of them confirmed, but the actors as well. Who you are? Are you the man in this picture? Amel might have some distance from the character now, but he said that he's open to take the role again. Oh sure, I owe so much to the people of DC, the CW, and Warner Brothers Television. I love the character so much and only love it more now that it's been two years since we wrapped the show. But having a little space now, I saw that I miss it. I do look back very, very, very fondly on it," said the actor. If season 9 ever happens, I might have some ideas about how it should continue. It won't be the first time to bring back a character in the Arrowverse, so time travel would be the most logical answer. It would be a bit difficult because the character that is able to go back in time in Star City from its latest problem is Oliver himself. Anyway, the idea here is that Oliver will smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No really, in all seriousness now, Oliver will be brought to the present and plucked from a previous point in his timeline where he would have to cope with his death in the crisis. And what if we combine Arrow Season 9 with its Green Arrow and the Canaries concept? The idea behind this would be Oliver Queen's time traveling to 2040, the time that will allow him to make an alliance with his daughter Mia. This way, Season 9 would give him a completely different supporting cast and direction. Years on a deserted island and you came back a vigilante? This is an idea that suggests his return as a Spectre. It was quite interesting to see Oliver Queen take on the mantle of another DC superhero for a change. Amel portrayed the role of the Spectre in the Crisis on Infinite Earths event. He then used his newfound powers and abilities to fight the Anti-Monitor. This option makes the most sense. Rather than making the actor return as the same character, they gave him a new angle to explore. Oliver Queen as the Spectre would be a good change of pace for the show. The story could revolve around the reason behind Oliver Queen's return. Arrow Season 9 would show Oliver Queen with an air of mystery around him. Anyway, what's your theory? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.